Eurohold accused the ASF of acting illegally to remove the Euroins Romania from the market. Uh, in the statement, it was also mentioned that uh, the company drew up a report in uh, in this sense, uh, in which it was demonstrated that Euroins Euro Romania was financially stable and solvent when ASFA withdrew its license. So, what is the stage of of these actions of this action? Have you received a response from the authorities? No, we still don't receive the response, as you know, and everybody know what exactly happened in uh, March. Uh, as a fair, we draw our ice, uh, our license. Uh, in this procedure, they breach a lot of uh, laws, not only Romanian. They breach also European law. Of course, they after that they told a different story that uh, it's according to the law and so and so. We are still in the court for and we are still attacking all their decisions. Uh, in the same time, we have some proposal to ISF from yes. the other our holding companies uh, to avoid the situation in which the Romanian citizens are losing so much money. And we offer to the guarantee fund to take back, back all portfolio within the assets of Bulgarian companies and to cover all future existing and future claims okay i was really surprised that nobody even answered on on this nobody means nobody from isf nobody from your parliament nobody from your government seems that uh, nobody is interested to save about three four hundred million euro to the romanian citizens Nevertheless, that uh, everybody say that they are not money in the guarantee fund. Something more was happened after that. According to against any logic, somewhere in the beginning of September, yes, uh, the act, the validity of the policy of Euro in Romania, which should expire on the 9th of September, was was prolong it with another three months. Yes. Why it's against the logic? Because it's immediately create some additional losses to the guarantee fund, which yes. they need to cover. It's create additional losses to the all creditors of the insurance company here in Romania and so on. So it's practically it's a crime. What do you think are the mix are the mistakes that uh, Euroins or Euroins Romania Eurohold Group, let's say, made uh, so that it has been rich in this uh, situation in Romania? If 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 Euroins made some mistakes, uh, we did only one mistake: we reject to participate in the scam of corruption. Okay. Because here we are talking a very high level of corruption. Corruption uh, means uh, on the level of ISF or even higher over them. Okay. This is what I can say that in Bulgaria now, they are in the prosecutor office, general prosecutor office, they are open case, already open case, against Mr. Roshu, yes. against Mr. Ionescu. And I think that in the next one month will be added another Romanian citizen. And it's not only investigation, it's already case with duties. So according to Romanian law, these two people cannot be in the port of ISF. I don't know what the, and we already inform Romanian yes. uh, government and Romanian structure about this and i'm even surprised that nobody even in the parliament don't say that according to romania and european law mr Rosho cannot be member of the board of isf or even there are some additional uh, rumors that maybe they'll he'll be elected again mm -hmm. but you should know that in bulgaria there guilty case against him. Look, I think that uh, all of these people, which are really crime group, and I say that they are even has some political protection, yes. thinks that what it's happened in Romania, after that will destroy the holding, but 
nothing, it's not true. It's nothing happened. We are still the biggest holding in Bulgaria. We're still working all around of Europe. So the Romanian case, we really put and cut off outside. Yeah. It's a little bit decrease our revenue, but with just like 10, 15% from the total holding. So as you see, we are alive and we are very well accepted everywhere. I can say that even we, in this moment, as you know, we have other insurance company. One of them is yes. Eurins Bulgaria. Eurins yes. Bulgaria from the 2007 has a permissions to work uh, in Romania yes. under the freedom of services. Yes. So uh, in this time, we under, uh, underwrite some policies. And now we are already prepared. And uh, a few days ago, we start to work actively in all type of insurance instead MTPL. Because for MTPL, we need also to connect to the guarantee fund and to the bar and to receive yes. another permission from Bulgarian regulator, which we expect in the next few days. This is to for... Permission from Bulgarian regulator. For the time being, we are... We will see, shall we proceed with the MTPL, but with the all others insurance uh, type of policy, we are active in Romania through our Bulgarian company. And here I'm really surprised that unofficially people from ISF yes. are calling to all brokers trying to stop them. Yes. Do not work with us. And not only this, they also start to talk against some other two Bulgarian company who work in Romania. Okay. So that's the reason that I say that it's a little bit, there's some politician involved. And I'm surprised that it's really breached the law and especially the... Uh, what do you think are the mistakes that ASFA uh, made? Basically, they, they breached a lot of, of the law. Yes. Even Romania, in an Article 32, for example, some other articles of the directives, European directives, and... Here we are really talking about the, let's say, attempt to steal the business. I can say why. As you know, a few days ago in Romania was licensed new insurance company. Yeah. I, I cannot I, say anything except that strange that ISF did this for a very short time and I try to see if this insurance company knew has mm -hmm. even the website. Yes. Nothing. No. Nothing. Huh? Maybe it's interesting yeah. for the journalists to investigate. Yes, yes. Sure. Yeah. Very interesting case. But in the same moment, they prolong the activity of our policy. So yeah. I'll be not surprised if this new insurance company try to obtain this portfolio from the guarantee fund. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because, look, anyway, the portfolio is still around 1.3, 1.4 million policy. Okay. Their average activity will be another 1.5, two months after that they will expire. I say average because, as you know, after one year, all the policy expire. We are not so far from 17th of March. Some of the policy are yeah. even yes. in October, November. So I'll be not surprised if this insurance company went to ISF and tried to obtain this for one euro. And after that, to renew all this policy and to take 10 or 15% for, from the market for nothing. If it's happened, it will be confirmation that it's really, they really try to steal the business from the company which work on your market more than 17 years. All these facts which I mentioned now are really confirming that we are talking for corruption. All these uh, court cases and prosecutor cases in Bulgaria, we are talking for attempt to style the business, steal the business from some big companies. Mm -hmm. And it, it's strange that it's happened in a country which is part of the European Union. Chaitare. Uh, requested uh, the cancellation of the reinsurance contracts between Euroins Romania and the reinsurance AJRE, which is part of the uh, of the Europol group. 
what are you going to do if the car, the justice, cancels the reinsurance contract? It should be very strange because in the same moment, look, it's interesting what's happened. Chaitara, which is the liquidator of the company, yes. mm -hmm. accepted that uh, Euroins Romania, before uh, to be uh, put in the bankruptcy, has receivables and liabilities with some other reinsurance contract. Which other mm -hmm. reinsurance contract, ISF say that they are not valid, they are wrong, and they practically doesn't exist. For this reason, we replace this contract with another new range. Chater decide to accept all receivables and liabilities with this other reinsurance contract with the uh, other uh, very strong European reinsurer. So, what is true? Mm. If Chater, uh, let's say, recognize, means that they exist. So, if they exist, you're in Romania, is perfect company. So okay. ISF is wrong. If ISF was right, Chater is wrong. This I don't understood and, and who is wrong and who is right. Mm -hmm. And in the same moment, in the same moment, the contract, insurance contract with which we replace this contract are worked perfectly from 1st of January to 17th of March. Even ISF agree with this, but suddenly they decide that they try to let let me tell you they try to how you say to interrupt or uh, to yes. no. let's say to, to 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 say that the contract uh, is not valid more okay so it's strange because in their decision to put the company in the bankruptcy they say that this contract doesn't exist and they don't accept this mm -hmm. so if the contract doesn't exist what means now to interrupt this contract if the contract exists in this moment so the all reserves and all liability of euro in romania should be covered they yes. has not right to put the company in bankruptcy if it doesn't mm -hmm. exist why they don't why they want now to to have a court procedure against this Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of a lot of things like this which are how to say they look schizophrenically, and that's another proof for corruption. Still, there are not even court case against this. If they are, well, I'm sure that we perfectly will defend that the contract exists. Considering the principles of freedom of establishment and the freedom to provide services. Freedom of services. Yes, we will uh, try. We, I'm sure that okay. we will receive the confirmation from Bulgarian regulator, and we will be ready again to restart also for MTPL. Okay. Look, shall we do or <clears throat> no? To be fair, no. Mm -hmm. We maybe will be not start immediately. I want to see how the people believe to us, and. It seems that they still believe in the all other type of the insurance. And after that, maybe we will start also with this. But we are not so angry for your market guys. For okay. us, it's much more the principle of, of the fairness and of this that even Bulgarian regulator to prove that we have enough stability to work on your market. That is much more important for us. Iranians operates in many countries in the region. And as far as I know, only in Romania there have been such problems. How can you explain these situations? I say that only in Romania I'm surprised to see that the Bulgarian business is not welcome because it's not happened only with our company. There are some other companies which already has a problem with uh, in this country. Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised that it's become like your national policy. It, it's strange. And yes, you're... It's true that we have a problem only in Romania. Never, never in our story, and we work in more than 12 countries, we have a problem in some other parts. And it's strange. I explain. It's much more I can explain with the environment, some corruption. I really hope that Romanian very top politicians will take some measures against the corruption. Because even last year, we have three meetings with Mr. 
Marcelo Chihuahua and inform him mm -hmm. about some problems in ISF and some problem in your insurance environment. Uh, Euro in Romania did not bring the capital requested by the ISFA. Even if you did not agree with the authorities with the authority analysis, why didn't you bring the requested capital? We bring the requested capital. We invest in your country 273 million euro in the last 10 years. Every time when ASFA asks us for some capital, we bring the capital. The last money when we bring yeah. was in September or October last year. In the moment when they decide to withdraw the license, we has not any, we has not any again, I'm saying, delay payments or something others like this. It's only was in two newspapers in Romania, some rumors. Mm -hmm. And even ISF say in the first two days that they're not, it's the Mr. Apostol, I think, who is the chair, who was the speaker man. Yes. And after that, Roshu say yes. that there are not any economical reason for this. It's okay. much more to penalize the company for their behavior. Sorry, I don't understand what is our behavior. Two, there are some, there are checks. First, they say everything is okay. After that, they say that there are some deficiency in uh, December for 100 million euro. Suddenly, when we uh, decide that uh, it's not true and send some and has some meeting with them, after three months, after two months mm -hmm. in uh, February, they decide that there are much more. And with this contract, reinsurance and all others, we cover even this. I still don't understand their position. Practically, mm -hmm. they create a big hole for the Romanian market. Two weeks ago, I think that uh, the report for City was published. And the official was that City are really needed and the gap from them is about 10 billion lay. In the same moment, which also was a surprise for me, the cheater put their preliminary report mm -hmm about Euroins, for which they yes. talk about 5 million, but yes. only 600 of them are confirmed. Yes, yes. And the other was uh, something something which maybe will happen, yes. maybe will not happen. What is more interesting that there's something like a municipality of Orada, which are uh, say that they expect that their um, Claims will be for, if I remember, 50 or 60 million euro. Nevertheless, that they have 15 policy on the MTPL. All of them expire, or half of them expire. Okay. Well, even if there are some claims on this policy, the municipality will be not the beneficiary. The beneficiary will be the other people, practically who the car of the municipality hit, for example. So. It's strange. It seems that somebody called to them and say, guys, try to pretend something which not exists. This, mm -hmm. this is what I'm reading. And that's the reason that I think that some people in ISF, even I told their name, yes. try to hide their criminal activity. They try to provide a, a really bad information to the society and to hide that they try to steal the business. Uh, how do you see that the air travel market? I, I, I say in Romania because it's more in Romanian because it's more uh, more uh, simple for me. But you understand the air, air travel insurance market in Romania after the exit of Euroins. And how do you think it will uh, look in the next years? I think that even before our exit, the market was stable. The market was profitable, and in the same moment, the price on the market was not so high. Okay. That was normal. Uh, what I can say also that, uh, yes, the ISF fixed the price for six months, but that was fixed on the level of the March previous year in the moment when they was higher than March, March this year. This was strange for me. Hmm. So the price doesn't increase. I think that this six months period already expired. As yeah. you see, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. The 
our market share, which was we has in this moment, and already this policy, which are expired, was distributed between other market players. So mm -hmm. the market is totally normal. But anyway, this gap, which is from city, which is ten times bigger than uh, Euroins. Okay. And uh, gap, I mean, in the guarantee fund cannot mm -hmm. be covered in the next three or four years, even. And you guys need to find from somewhere the money in the guarantee fund. And if they still continue, I mean, ISF to take 10% from the market, it's exactly what's happened now. 10% of the revenue are the companies are paying to the guarantee fund. It will be not enough for the next year to cover the gap from city. Mm -hmm. The gap from Euroins will be at least five times less, yes. but it also is added to this. So that's the, that's the market. But I think that the market more or less is going well and normal. What are your next steps regarding the activity in Romania? Uh, as I explained, we are starting and we are already doing the activity uh, in the all other type of policies. About MTPL, I hope that in the next few days we will have a notification, but we are not angry to start hungry to start mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. We will see. And uh, of course, like holding, we will shoot and we already prepare for this, except the court cases in Romania. We will shoot Romanian state and the government outside of Romania. Okay. for the minimum 500 million euro and the steps are already done we are very far in the, this procedure and two very famous legal offices working on this and i'm sure that we will win maybe not immediately maybe after three or four years but i hope that it will cover our investment and it will create another gap for the romanian citizens which even i don't like this and I'll be very happy if somebody sit down and see how we can solve this problem before. I think yes. that I'll be a really surprised if the if the if after this information when we provide about Mr. Rosho, the opposition in your parliament who know very well and has the proofs will allow to this guy against to be voted in the ISF. I will be really surprised.